Hi and welcome Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly tarot reading. Yes, it is brand new from the 31st of December to the 7th of January. So it is in, read it in conjunction or watch it in conjunction with your monthly reading as well, which is a lot more extended. Yeah, so basically the weekly readings, I'm going to be doing them, starting them for uh, 2019 going forward. They're all about providing you with a bit of guidance each week. Yeah, so they are general, so take from it what you will. And uh, I've pre-shuffled and already drawn the cards and they tell quite a story. So they are going to be quite different to what you used to, but exciting still. A couple of uh, just brief messages is 2019 predictions are out now on my Vimeo channel. Link is going to pop up over here. It's a 45 minute extended reading on everything you need to know in 2019. It's only $8.95. If you want a personal reading with me for your 2019 predictions, attune to your own energy, I will be offering them this month only, yeah? And uh, there's a $10 coupon that's going to pop up on this video. You can use it with that reading, um, but you need to book in pretty swiftly because I'm as I said, only going to do it for this month, yeah? Uh, other news. So I did have a competition running last month in December. I am running it again in January, so you get to... Two chances, there's two prizes up for grabs to win the entire 2019 predictions all-star signs, the full series. You can share it with your friends and your family. All you need to do is opt in and subscribe to my blog, which is free. You get more great content from me. Uh, if you've already subscribed, you don't need to do anything. You go into the draw automatically. Winners are going to be announced on the 25th of Jan, so you need to opt in before then. And uh, all the details are on this video and in the description box below. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with your reading. So first up, pulled you some um, ancient wisdom, Sagittarius, from the Shaman's Oracle, and you've pulled the Hunter of Honor. And there's beautiful cave art on me. We're also going to be covering um, love and romance for couples, love and romance for singles, your general energies, and a gorgeous crowning energy at the end from the Sacred Powers deck. So the hunter of honour says, Sagittarius, I am the hunter of honour. I seek out honourable ways to live and move both in this world and in that of spirit. I bring with me the honesty that honour requires and I teach ways that will enable you to honourably exchange energies and dreams with the universe. Whenever you are tempted to act in a manner unworthy of you, I am there to remind you of the damage this can cause and the trouble it can bring in its wake. Oh, hello, there's a warning sign. Honour underpins much of our life, even when we're unaware of it. To be honoured, to act honourably, to honour others, these are key motivations in whatever journey we undertake. The hunter of honour reminds us to appreciate the world that supports us, the life we've been allowed to create for ourselves, and the loved ones who contribute to our well-being. We must honour places, people and things, accepting them for what they are and acknowledging the effect they have upon us in every aspect of living. To succeed in this is to strengthen and celebrate the very essence of our being. How beautiful, I've got to say. Kind of a timely reminder, isn't it, to honour others. Often, I'm going to say to you, I'm also a transformational coach, yeah, often we can get stuck in um, getting triggers by people because we're getting triggered by the past and not how they are in the present. So be mindful of that, particularly if it's with family, karmic stuff, or even in relationships, yeah? You're getting triggered by stuff that's happened in the past, often recycling through it rather than seeing them as they are now. So, mm. all right, so couples, your advice. I pulled two cards for you from the romance. Angel deck is to retreat, take some time out with each other, disconnect from the world. That means bloody turn your phones off if you're out for lunch or dinner. God, a number of couples I've seen that are both like sitting there not talking to each other and they've got their heads engrossed in their mobile phones. Be present, I'm gonna to say to you. Um, it can mean taking some time away, getting you know grandma and grandpa to look after the kids, nan and pop, um, just having that one-on-one -on -one time together to, I'm gonna say enhance your relationship, that bond. You've also got the message, this is not going to apply to everybody, is pay attention to the red flag signs of cautioning you. Don't ignore them. They can derail the relationship later on down the track. You've got to bring them up, yeah? Uh, how do you know if it's a red flag? If it happens once, it's just a warning sign. Be mindful. If it happens twice, um, like if it happens once, it could they just could be having an off day, yeah? Happens twice, yeah, you need to watch it. 
if it happens three times, don't delude yourself, right? It's who they are or it's a pattern they've got themselves into. At that point, you need to either bring it up or decide whether or not you can put up with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, singles. Well, I think this is always the case here. If you're looking for love, you've got to get your flirt on. Um, yeah, let people know that you're interested in them. Let people know that you're single if you're looking for love. If you're not looking for love, that's totally fine. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are, get your flirt on. Perfect time of year for it, I've got to say. Uh, you've also got the message to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Stop pushing in terms of your love relationships. Just step back a bit and allow yourself to go with the flow. Be present. Enjoy the moment. Um, it will happen in divine timing as soon as you're ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have to, I have to say, I kind of, I kind of smiled and laughed when these cards came out because it was such a strong message. Um, I will say about the pay attention to the red flags, couples, uh, that flew out of the deck. So that's a seriously important message to listen to. Um, I'm going to pull three of these up together because <laughs> double confirmation, Sagittarius, get your butt outside. Have a look at that. Um, first one is that pull Cordelia, go outside. You've been inside too long. You pull two, two for Mother Earth, different decks, Mother Earth. Um, that's about getting your feet on Mother Earth, enjoying nature, taking time out for self to balance and ground yourself, connect you to divinity. Alone time, yeah, with yourself, it's going to rejuvenate you, recharge your batteries. I've got to say, in terms of all the star signs, what's coming next is off the charts amazing. Nobody else has pulled them this good so far. So be, be warned, here it comes, ready? So before I actually pull this one, before we get carried away too much. Um, in terms of your energies, you did pull yin and yang, yeah, which is all about knowing when to take time out for rest and when to take action. So it's about balancing the two. Okay, this is what's coming. This is what's predicted this week. Hello. First up, abundance. Hello, universe trying to pour it onto you because it's come hand in hand with, uh, oh, what will I pull up next? There's so many good things. Um, okay. For some of you, you are with your soulmate. This is a master teacher card in this deck, Soul Connection Crystal. For those of you going, oh, I don't want to let go of control issues. Let go of control issues. Your soulmate's covered in. So you've got abundance. Yep, yeah. soulmate. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. There's more. It does get better if that's possible. Cornucopia. This is your money and your abundance and your love and your joy and your contentment, right? What do I back that up with? Well, hello, there's more. <laughs> Hang on. You got for a fire, contentment, peace, happiness, a happy home life, the successful completion of abundance. If that's not cornucopia, I don't know what it is, but wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. Things are definitely looking up right. Archangel Azriel, this is released in the past. You've come out the other side, Sagittarius. Um, end of a difficult situation, things are looking up. <laughs> that is not the end of the good news, though right you also pulled the sun card the sun is coming out oh my god it's coming out for you Sagittarius Archangel Uriel happy outcomes your brilliant ideas lead you to success have confidence in yourself dare I say replay them back to you cornucopia contentment peace abundance happy home life soulmate coming Abundance. Right. Now, if we're not all high-fiving each other in the comments box below, I don't know what's going on with you, right? Because you've got it all happening. Oh, my God. Hello. Big smile on my face for you. Mm -hmm. And your crowning energy. Personal power. Have a look at this. Beautiful. So this is from the uh, control yourselves. I can feel you all jumping up around. Some of you are, some of you are bum dancing in the lounge room. I can already feel you doing it. Wait till we finish the reading. Okay, come back. We're going to do this one. I oh, know some of you, I've lost you already. You've all gotten so overexcited with yourselves. Too funny. All right. Personal power. It's from the uh, Sacred Powers deck. And let's pull you up the guidance. Too funny. You make me smile. Stop it. I oh, know some of you are super excited right now. You should be. Okay. And it says, Sagittarius, take responsibility for your actions. Reclaim your power. 
Emotions are powerful and can cause us to feel alone, overwhelmed and anxious. If we haven't had the opportunity to express our situation or experiences. A symbol of polarity of positive and negative. The Siberian tiger asks us to address our personal power issues. The tiger has chosen to visit you today to encourage you to express your deepest feelings. Embracing your darkest personal experiences and transform it into positive thoughts and actions. Once we decide if a particular experience is good or bad, we then make a conscious decision about what to do next, identifying our method of emotional expression. We either speak up, become neutral, or don't speak at all. Not speaking up, however, can leave us feeling helpless and placing us in a victim mindset. I've got to say it might be to do with red flags in your relationships, for those of you it's affecting. Tigers are predators and understand the need for secrecy, perseverance and patience before committing to their prey. Standing strong and powerful is essential to their survival. In the same way, experiencing darkness helps us to build strength and resilience. Right now, the tiger asks you to relinquish your victimhood and take responsibility for your own thoughts and feelings. Embrace your hardships with love and acceptance. Use them as a source of personal motivation. Take responsibility for your actions, the part you played in your current circumstances. And I'm going to say to you, don't think you didn't. Yeah. It can often be like if you're going, and I've had this come up with a different card, yeah, for a couple of other signs in terms of taking responsibility for self. If you don't know, I'm also a transformational coach, if I haven't mentioned that. The victimhood thing, right? Um, you can, you know, you can bang on, and often I'll get some comments on my channel, and, you know, um, I have very little tolerance for victimhood, I have to say, because it comes from a lack of empowerment. Yeah, I'll just say it too. You can always lift yourself out of it. And it's about being reactive rather than responsive. It's about saying everybody else is doing things to you rather than uh, standing in your own power, putting healthy boundaries in place with people, but also not taking responsibility for the choices you make and to either stay stuck in that situation for the partner that you chose because uh, you made a conscious choice to be in a relationship with that person. Um, if they're doing things that you don't agree with, have you stood up to it? Have you expressed yourself? Have you walked away from it because it's no good for you? Yeah, it's all part of personal responsibility. If you're not having great relationships with your family or relations, some of them, they can be incredibly difficult. Um, how are you showing up? How are you um, yeah, allowing people to impact you? I just want to bring you back to the present. So whilst you've got all this good stuff coming in, You've also got a message here about taking responsibility for how you're showing up in the world. Mm -hmm. And it says, by doing so, you will reclaim your personal power. So important. Now is the time, particularly when you've got all this good stuff going on, dare I say. Now is the time to encourage a healthier environment for releasing toxic relationships and friendships from your life. Negative attitudes and that negative attitudes and emotional vampires are manipulating your soul's freedom. Oh my God, cut them loose. <laughs> Just get rid of them. <laughs> Remove yourself from the game. Cut these negative cords and be free. Wow. Not going to affect everybody. You know who you are. And there's an affirmation here which says, I am now willing and able to stand in my own power. Each experience enhances my love, my strength and my self-worth. Such an important message, I've got to say. Right at the beginning of the year, I've got to say, Spirit so wanted you to hear that. As sobering as that was, don't forget you got all this happening. Uh -huh. I just want to hold it up for you one more time because it's so amazing. I can't hold them all. Hang on, one more. <laughs> Sagittarius, ridiculous. Ridiculously good. All right. If you enjoyed this reading, oh, God, I can't know. I don't know why you wouldn't, seriously. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share to my channel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. I do read all the comments and do respond. I will say this year I've decided, I've had, I'll say it with a smile on my face here, zero tolerance whatsoever for any negativity on my channel, criticism, whatever, you're just going to get muted or blocked. So think about that before you make that comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, because it's of my own free will and my my channels it's just totally not my vibe yeah um my channel's all about raising the positive vibration on this planet one person at a time that includes you so okay 
don't forget grab your ten dollar coupon if you want to get a personal reading with me specifically attuned to the 2019 predictions for yourself um and for now much love much light namaste